Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam ala nabina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam Amma bada habita fila Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh Hayyak Allah We ask that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the Almighty accepts our good and forgives our evil and protects us from kuli suwa makru Habita fila a question was asked regarding the decree of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala regarding the divine decree of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as many people have these kind of questions which are uh, we're not belittling the importance of these questions but we do want to point out a few things when s people tend to go in depth about things they're not asked to go in depth about so one of our fadala one of the the people of 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 worthy of respect from our listeners has asked about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's divine decree and about uh, did Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala write his actions in Allah al-Mahfud and the divine decree and that they are afraid of kufr regarding this. First of all, I want to say I don't understand at all why, what is the wajj or what is the way that you feel that you have fallen into kufr or you're afraid of falling into disbelief in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in regards to this question. But what I want to do is point out a few things. We know that uh, believing in the Qadr of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, as the Prophet والسلام, mentioned, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, first and foremost, mentions in the Quran, Kulu shayin khalaqana bil Qadr, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned every, that everything is created in due measurement and it's, it's decreed uh, by Him, subhanahu wa ta'ala, and He is the creator of the heavens and earth, the creator of everything, subhanahu wa ta'ala. And we know that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, uh, everything is written in Allah al mahfuz and we know that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has knowledge over everything. And he is a sami al basir And he is all hearing and all seeing subhanahu wa ta'ala. We know these things. And we know that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that everything comes by the Mashiach Everything is in accordance with the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Nothing escapes it. Nothing escapes the, the qadr of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the will of Allah azza wa jal. And... Uh, that could be the Mashiach Koniya or Mashiach Shariah. And I, I don't want to go too deep into these subjects. We've talked about it, and I would say do your research. The books are out there. Everything is there. But I just want to stick more specifically with your question as best as we can and some points regarding it. The first thing I want to mention is that the Prophet والسلام, has mentioned, do not go deep into the Qadr. Do not hold fil qadr. And this was the methodology of Ahlul Sunnati wal Jama'ah and why it's the safest minhaj because it's in accordance to what the Prophet alayhi salatu uh, uh, stated, practiced, uh, etc. And so since our beloved Prophet alayhi salatu wasalam, said, do not go deep in the qadr, don't question it, don't philosophize about it, don't debate with the philosophers, don't debate with Ahl bid'ah, don't take their ideologies, don't take the way they try to question you, even the people of disbelief in Zandaka, they try to question you to try to take you away from Islam, to cause doubt in your deen. Don't even entertain that, don't even listen to that, and return to the book in the Sunnah. What I mean is study, read. Kathrata Kira'ah. Read a lot about the decree of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala from the Quran and the Sunnah, and then the Menhaj of the Salaf, meaning the, the books of the Salaf, and then you have what you need. You don't need to go beyond that. Second point, which stems from that, which is do not go deep into that which has no impact on your creed and practice. Think about your questions, uh, beloved one. That is it going to help you pray Fajr? Is it going to help you uh, cooperate with your brothers and sisters in Islam today and tomorrow? Is it going to help you fast in Ramadan? Is it going to encourage you to make Qiyam al layl Is it going to encourage you to stay away from the Muharramat, those things which are impermissible? And I'm sure that you'll, a that you'll actually be able to say no to all of those questions. That, that this has no impact on your practice of Islam. You're a Muslim. You're trying to practice Islam. You're trying to die upon Islam. No impact. No benefit to go deep into those issues. So that's one thing. Secondly, it has no uh, uh, impact on your creed, your itaqad. You don't, you're not, you don't need to go into those issues, okay? And that's gonna bring up our third and last point, and that is, do not question that which Allah did not give us details about as you are not responsible for that knowledge. That's something you, you know, it's a beautiful thing. You hear from the scholars of Ahl-Sunnah all the time when you sit in their durus. You'll hear them mention this. 
that think about these things that you're not even at, Allah didn't give us that knowledge. So you're not responsible for that knowledge. And Allah did not make us responsible for that knowledge. Meaning, do we have no delil to show that you're responsible for asking, well, the decree, I did this sin and the sin, and then it went backwards and I flipped and I did a backflip and an elbow strike. And, you know, you're not asked about those things. You are not asked about that. You're not asked to philosophize. And I know we are a product of the Renaissance and the all these intellectual movements and contemporary times, 2023. We are a product of that especially those in the West, of that Western tradition, as well as, you know, contemporary context of the time we live in. We're, we are a product of that. That's what we learn in schools. This is the methodology, if you will, of, uh, you know, supposedly scientific discovery and intellectual discourse and debating and questioning everything, even the existence of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That is what we learn in our schools, uh, generally in our public schools in the western countries okay it's challenging everything take nothing for granted what is love what is faith what is what is god what is spirituality to you what is morality to you we are taught to question those things you have to kick aside and i know it's difficult but when you are a practicing muslim and a learned muslim meaning you are trying to adhere to the book of allah and the son of the messenger of allah والسلام, and the madhab of the salaf al-salih which there is no other madhab which is legitimate what did Green say? No other madhab that's legitimate. Going back to the kitab and the sunnah and the madhab of the salaf. Then you will stop where the salaf stopped. And safety in your deen. Because you, you don't even have to debate that. You don't have to uh, question and get in debate with this guy and this guy and, and, and this philosopher and that philosopher. Because you're going back to what you're supposed to be. And that's the mastar. And that's the usul, the foundation principles, which you gain. Learn the pillars of Iman, Sitta, Six, and Tu'mina Biqadri Khairi Hu Hashar. Believe in the divine decree of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the good and the evil of it. So Allah didn't give you extensive details about the Qadr, so you're not responsible for it. And Allah, there's no Dalil from the Quran and the Sunnah, nor the Madhab of the Salaf, to show us that we are responsible for that knowledge. We are responsible, as Ibn uh, Abdullah ibn Mas'ud radiallahu ta'ala an, wa kathir min as-salaf as-salih, khasatin as-sahaba radiallahu ta'ala an, amajma'in, mention we are responsible for that which was revealed. And we're responsible for ittiba, laysa it, uh, ibtida. We are responsible for adhering strictly to the book and the sunnah and our, taking our aqidah from there and not innovating, not going to class and all of a sudden you're questioning, does the law exist? Oh, what is this thing you guys, you Muslims call the Qadr, the divine decree? And, and, and people of faith, because even the Christians believe, uh, especially practicing ones, believe in the, the, the Qadr and probably other faiths as well. They believe in uh, at a level of the decree of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So we don't have to go and ask those questions, nor do we have to get into the debates of Ahl al-Bid'ah, that the Salaf had to deal with. That's why they wrote about the Qadr and went a little bit more into those issues only because the people of desires were causing doubt amongst the Muslims. So then they responded by going back to the Usul al-Itiqada, Ahl sunnah and detailing issues, debating and arguing and destroying the doubts of the people of Bid'ah and desires. So you are only responsible for what you're responsible for. And we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam ala Muhammad.